Hello ladies and gents. In front of us is the new Renault Astral e-hybrid 200 horsepower and I got it for early test uh, actually returning from a press day so just to show you the rear so you have the LED lights uh, let's get inside because it's freezing there's another pe person inside the car with me so we're both on press uh, lunch locally here in Croatia and I'm gonna head out so there's an easy entry comes back to your memorized position so we're gonna start driving immediately there's a semi behind me trying to park on the space that is for semi to just park here for a quick stop because we've changed so uh, I did get some impressions of the car my lights are not on Someone <laughs> didn't leave them on automatic, but okay. Um, so always safety. Uh, I always mention that don't keep your lights on position lights. Keep them on automatic uh, to avoid this kind of situations. Um, so as mentioned, uh, 200 horsepower uh, hybrid Astral. This is the top spec. Um, lots of options, but this particular car doesn't have the... Uh, upgraded sound system but still the bass speakers are very decent um, we're driving from uh, Rijeka to Zagreb there's a little bit of snow and it's cold outside we're on winter tires I didn't check the dimensions but I think it was something like 20 inch uh, regardless it's very comfortable uh, soft suspension uh, even on the potholes, speed bumps, it's very comfortable considering the larger uh, wheel uh, dimension. Now uh, this car has the, uh, I think it was four drive, so there's an option for the back wheels to uh, turn, I think it was like five degrees, so they just help you to uh, do a, like a U-turn, uh, something like Clio, just this car is at least half a meter, I think, longer but you can still do uh, maneuver as Clio and also helps you on the highway to turn faster it's supposed to also uh, you're wearing your tires less uh, with that function not that someone really cares about that as much um, now uh, we have a petrol engine combined with two electric motors one is the main that powers the car the other one's just a starter uh, so the petrol engine has around, uh, from, if I remember correctly, 130 uh, horsepower, but there's also another electric motor that adds another around uh, almost 100. So in total, system power gives you around 200 horsepower. There are uh, less power version with around 160 and then a 200 horsepower. Uh, I'm going to link the specs in the video uh, because... Uh, you're gonna get accurate information there. I memorized some stuff, uh, not 100% sure, because this is more like uh, fast review rather than a review where I prepared myself actually. Uh, I will get this car separately, then I'll try to be more detailed. Uh, in this case, we're gonna just be driving on the highway and maybe some driving shots in Zagreb as well. Uh, now, this has the uh, one gear. Uh, transmission since this is a hybrid car uh, it relies more on the um, also automatic transmission that just gives you really nice smooth transition and it's also cool um, I've driven the Arcana uh, locally it was a Megane Conquest it was a very jerky car it, it, the engine was shaking when you turn it on in this car it's very soft it's very smooth uh, you don't feel that and this is also feels like a more solid car more on premium level not just because of this interior design but also uh, the refined interior details and everything feels more quality made Arcana or the Megane Conquest felt a little bit more shallow uh, not to say too plasticky but 
it had some nice materials in the RS line model I had on the test, but this this feels more solid and uh, like a little class above that. Uh, steering, uh, you can change of course the driving profiles, so you can have a little more sporty feeling, uh, gives you a little more resistance. Uh, but I like the comfort most in this car because I think this is uh, ideal for uh, comfortable cruising. It's a big SUV. Uh, this is not a, something that's supposed to be a sport utility vehicle. This is just for comfortable city driving. And then when we're talking about city driving with this hybrid system, you're supposed to get at least that's uh, what they told us around 80% in average driving electric so this car should give you good fuel consumption in the city um, and they also said they've upgraded the engine they upgraded the uh, the high the electric motor and they've increased the battery size compared to the previous generations so they did little tweaks uh, to uh, focus on the economy also they focused on the uh, long-term use uh, they do not use a uh, rubber belt, they use a chain belt. And they've said only in this car, since it's a hybrid and has electric motor, it doesn't need any service. For the petrol engine, you just need to change your oil regularly once a year. And it, it, that should altogether reduce your uh, service and maintenance cost on the long run. And it's supposed to be more efficient. Uh, and it's giving you this sort of electric feeling in the city but it's still you no know, range, range anxiety it's not committed fully to uh, electric platform and there won't be electric platform and there won't be a plug-in hybrid platform they said they could add a plug-in hybrid option the platform is ready for this but they just decided not to do that so that's not uh, their long-term plan for this car so most people will like this uh, or still, you know, don't think the electric cars are at the moment convenient for them, but this is it. So uh, once again, emphasizing very comfortable hybrid, very smooth driving and very comfortable SUV. It's also very spacious on the front and the back, a uh, nice family car and the brakes. I think they're uh, more on the sensitive side, although I didn't use them as much because you have the regenerative braking and you can control the recuperation amount. So that's also a nice thing because one of the things I love about electric cars is one pedal driving. In this car, you won't drive it one pedal, but uh, you can have something close to that with regenerate, re <coughs> excuse me, with regenerative braking because uh, if you recuperate a lot and brake, uh, you charge the uh, two kilowatt hour battery so I also asked if they could have increased the battery size but they've said uh, that they think this is the ideal considering the mass not to counterproduct uh, the uh, fuel consumption with the weight and so on so the previous gen they've used uh, 1.2 kilowatt hours now they've uh, increased it almost by uh, Little bit less than one kilowatt uh, now there's a smaller speed limit at this area <clears throat> later on we'll have a 130 but uh, we've tested the car today around 150 where it was legal and the car has <clears throat> up to 130 very good soundproof in the cabin especially now we're driving around 100 kilometers per hour or 60 miles per hour so on average speeds uh, most people drive it's very uh, also uh, good soundproof inside the cabin on higher speeds 130 and towards 150 I did hear a little bit of wind coming from the a pillar uh, maybe side mirrors but mostly at this speed you can hear uh, tires and uh, I wasn't rough in the corners but uh, a colleague was just on a test and the car felt very stable again with the rear uh, axle turning as well uh, it gives you a lot of stability on the road uh, the car is not too heavy but I think it's stable on the road if you're going a little bit more aggressive to the bends uh, again moderately aggressive not super aggressive because then every car is gonna slip a little bit 
Uh, overall, um, I gotta say with the Astral, I'm very pleased. Uh, at first, uh, I was just surprised uh, by the interior quality built. Uh, I gotta say, I love this uh, Google infotainment that they've uh, integrated. I'm not a huge fan of this. I mean, I'm not a Google user, I'm an Apple user. Uh, and I know I didn't test the Apple CarPlay yet. Uh, sure, it works fine, but uh, just testing the base system that we have here at Google, it looks awesome. Uh, there are here sense, so it changes on the screen. You might not see it from this angle. It also changes ambient lights inside, as you can see. Uh, now the sport mod mode, just it, it is a little bit more rougher and more sensitive to the uh, touch, so the acceleration, and it gives you a little bit more stiffer steering wheel. But it's not a huge difference in the power output that I feel as a driver. Uh, honestly, it is a little bit faster, but again, I'm used to driving electric now and to in more instant torque. So just have that in mind. I'm not maybe 100% fair, but I'm trying to be fair here. So I think uh, in the comfort setting, uh, it's the smoothest acceleration for me. And that's just my personal taste. Uh, we'll have different tastes, so I'm not going to discuss too much about that. Uh, just to show you here, we have also, uh, you can see driving modes, you have a lot of safety features uh, and so on. Uh, cruise control is on the steering wheel, it's dead easy to use, but just uh, I haven't used it at this moment. You also have views, uh, there are four views, you can see the navigation in front of you. Uh, now my day point of view driving, there was, both screens were flickering, it's not flickering in person, it's just on the camera. And uh, over here you can see the car with a lane. You can see like a minimalist. And you can see like a classical with those two bubbles. Now there's also options in the right bubble to see energy flow, tire pressure. Uh, and this is of course front wheel drive. You can see uh, your economy, radio stations. And I guess percentage of power you're using and temperature now uh, our fuel consumption dropped to 7.5 I think on the way to the uh, Rijeka we're going uphill uh, we had 8 liters and we're going now downhill so it kind of dropped but uh, have in mind this is a brand new car it uh, hasn't passed yet a thousand kilometers so I think there's a braking period so we'll see also in the city uh, when we do some driving as well but on the highway currently this is uh, what we're getting around 7.5 liters uh, Renault was also mentioning that uh, their figures that are under v WVLTP should be um, realistic unlike uh, others we're always a little bit a uh, little bit always add a little bit more so we'll we'll see that from when we get the car for a longer test for a day or two but just uh, first impressions are that I've mentioned 7.5 um, so a little music so I can't play for too long not to get a copyright strike but uh, I'm gonna mute that uh, again I haven't played with the uh, settings here but uh, you can also choose here what kind of type of music and sound you want um, and of course uh, forgot to mention the head up display is now on the windshield it's not on a plexiglass it looks more premium and you have a nice big uh, setup uh, i don't see the navigation uh, although we do have a navigation uh, locked in but uh, it gives you, you know, cruising speed, distance. Uh, so if I do choose the uh, cruise control, you can see here, car in front of us, and so on. So driving 100, just gonna punch it all the way so you can see the acceleration a little bit. So 
you can hear that towards 140, 150 there is more wind noise, so around 130. You've, you can hear more tire noise. But to be fair, uh, today it is uh, windy outside, so there's also that. And now just to, when I have some space in front of me, just to show you the sport mode. A bit difference again from around 100. So it is a little bit feels hard, harsher, but honestly. I don't feel too much difference in power and again uh, think that I drive electric so this for me just uh, feels like a little bit underpowered but for most people who drive this you know comfortably I think this is for normal taking over slower cars uh, just enough horsepower for a normal casual driving so if you go to the uh, driving settings, you can see here electric, so it shows you the uh, graph of the car energy flow, so now I'm using the power, letting go, now it's recuperating. So as I was saying, you can see the uh, consumption graph, and also you can press on the consumption down here, and then you can see the uh, fuel consumption as well today. So guys, we're back in Zagreb, we're gonna park the car in the garage, so just gonna show you a little bit more, see the person driving without headlights on. So first impressions for the Austral, again, very nice and big comfy SUV, definitely recommendation. Now what's cool, in Croatia or the Adriatic region, there is 0% financing interest rate which is cool and uh, they've uh, added extended warranty up to eight years if I'm not mistaken. Uh, again this is just limited to uh, I think ex Yugoslavia um, but I'm sure uh, everyone else is going towards uh, six or eight years so in the future that might just become the new standard. But it's up to 100, 150,000 kilometers or eight years, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it was locally uh, some combination of the factory dealer and some sort of insurance. Uh, completely, uh, the whole car is covered. Also, the price is pretty good. Uh, we switched from our local currency to euros. Uh, forgot to around. 35,000 um, you can get really good spec with the car uh, considering the competition it's a very good package for fully loaded car uh, of course different markets different taxes prices might vary it but uh, just have in mind uh, that as well so we're gonna wrap it up here I'm gonna just park here in the middle somewhere so just do a little walk around the car as well once again when I exit so you can see the uh, beautiful LED headlights and taillights So once again, well the headlights are off, uh, but if I lock the car and press the, uh, you can see the animation, 
you can see the headlights on now there is a matrix option this car doesn't have that as well uh it was just someone didn't expect it uh that's an option i would definitely get and then just another look from the rear uh, the car looks cool in this completely black spec uh, this is you've got uh, again the austral e and uh, you have those uh, dynamic turn signals on the rear also beautiful this led lights connected uh, car's real dirty from the salt but i'm gonna wrap it here thanks for watching if you want to see more subscribe to the channel click the bell to get notified when i upload more videos and uh, hope to see you in the next one bye